Hey there, sorry I'm late. If you don't know me, my name is Sean and I'm a visual designer and this is my first YouTube video. Roll the intro. All right, first video, no intro. Okay, moving on. I toyed around with the idea of doing a YouTube video for a while and if I was gonna do it at all, I thought it has to be something that I'm interested in and it also has to be something that could help somebody else. So I thought it appropriate for my first video to do the best way to improve your product photography. In the early days of what future generations will call Mask Wars episode four, or as we know it, April, I wanted to do more photography, but I couldn't really go anywhere and do anything. And there's only so many times I can take a picture of my fiance inside her apartment before she kills me. So I had to pivot, like everybody else was doing. And also like what everyone else was doing in the beginning of quarantine, I was drinking. That's when it hit me. I figured I'm gonna buy the beer anyway. Why not make a photo shoot out of it? As you might have seen on my Instagram, I dove into this head first. You can see it wasn't just about taking a cool picture of a beer bottle or a beer can, but it was about telling a story about the beer or the brewers. The best product photography tells a story, but here's the trick. How does a beer tell a story? I feel like I just set up a punchline for a joke that I don't have. To tell a story, I had to think, what vibes do you get from these beers? What do they taste like? What memories do you think of when you drink one? So instead of redoing one of the shoots I already did, I'm gonna do a new one and walk you through it. So for this shoot, I'm gonna use Cape May Brewing Company as my test subject. They're a favorite of mine from where else, but Cape May. If you've never been, A, you should visit. B, all you really need to know is that they're a relatively small coastal town with a pretty growing beer scene. This year for my birthday, I got a gift wrapped in, wait for it, an actual map of New Jersey. This was the inspiration for this shoot. So now I had a map and Cape May is a coastal town. So obviously the theme had to be pirate sailor. So I ran around the house and grabbed a bunch of other props that would fit this theme. The whole challenge with these beer photo shoots has been to tell a story with each one and only do it with household stuff that I already had. While gathering up the props, I kept thinking, okay, this has to tell a story. If I'm a pirate and I have a map, what else do I have? Why do I have it? If you're using a map, you're probably gonna chart a course. So I grabbed a pencil and a protractor <laughs> because it's 2020 and who the hell has a compass? Then I threw in a knife for good measure. After I had the scene generally set up, I grabbed my camera, put it on a tripod so I could get the cleanest shot that I could. Then I would take a couple shots, move things around just to see which way I liked the best. So here's what the shots look like right out of the camera. And here's what they look like after I edited them in Lightroom. I'm not gonna lie, I think these turn out really well. I think the props match the grower really well, and I think that the edit with the desaturated colors and the lifted blacks matches the tone of the seasoned sailor that I was going for really well. If you're interested in how I did that in Lightroom, let me know and maybe I'll make that the next video. To recap, the best way to make a product photography shot interesting is to tell a story. Number one, Understand the feelings and thoughts of the product or the creator. Number two, brainstorm, plan ahead. It'll save you time in the end. Number three, get the right props and the right lighting and set the scene up in a couple different ways to figure out which way works best. Number four, finish strong with a good edit that matches the tone that you're trying to tell with the story. And five, if all else fails, have me do it. Thanks for sticking around if you made it this far. I hope you learned something or just enjoyed watching the process or you enjoyed me being awkward on camera. Either way, I think this is where you say the like and subscribe thing. Um, let me know if you like this and maybe I'll do another one. All right, bye.